Hi there, my name is Emily Starnes. I'm a self-advocate from Longwood, Florida. I have Soto Syndrome, which is similar to Asperger's and high-functioning autism. And I'm a member of the wonderful Partisan Policy Making class of 2015-2016. Partners has really been an eye-opening experience because when I first got here, being one of the younger members, I was thinking, I'm not going to know anything. I'm going to just be just like a fish out of water, swimming without any lifeguards, lifeboats, all that stuff. And I won't, quote, measure up because of that. But as I got on, it's like, okay, this is interesting. I'm learning a lot about disability history that I hadn't known from my own advocacy work with the Florida Youth Leadership for the Florida Youth Council, my mother who is a parent advocate, people who might be on the advocating slash political side of life, but until you're actually experiencing it for yourself and covering with people that might not have the same sort of background that you do and all that diversity, then it makes it more real and more of an impact. I was working for the Hallmark store during the holiday season. I was pretty open, fancy free, but there was always that sort of uncertainty about my work that I just wanted to leave open and flexible in case I did have a part-time or full-time job opportunity come up. If I had to pick, it would probably be a time between just self-determination and the first session where it we actually had graphics of workhouses, workshops, nursing homes that you think couldn't have been like as um, impactful and this couldn't have been a, a, as problematic as it was, but with those and with personal stories and whatnot, then you really get a sense that it did happen and it's still happening, although to a lesser extent. You can do all the research that you have, you can got all the statistics that you can gather and unless you have a personal uh, account and you can put a face to those stats, to the trends, then you're not going to be as effective as you could be. And you're not going to get that tearjerker, that aha moment, that instance that you inspire systems change. It may be time consuming, it may be, you may feel like you can't get enough done because there are a lot of demands, but you should totally, 100%, without a doubt, go for it because it'll definitely be an experience we'll not forget anytime soon.